Sharon in Illinois, you're on. Thank you for waiting. Yes, hello. Hi. Hey. Yeah, um, you know, so I'm calling in um, because, you know, I think from what I understand, uh, a lot of atheists kind of look at his, um, the conscience as just being contained within the brain and operates like a re- wet robot, which you've probably heard a million trillion times. Um, and I'm, I would like to ask how you think that conscience and reason can just be, you know, come about with a bunch of chemicals and um, how chemicals could have organized uh, thought and reason. Okay, so what you're asking me is to, to prove that the that consciousness is, is merely a product of a material brain? Right. Um, I, I don't have to prove that it's merely a product of a material brain. It is, in fact, demonstrably a product of a material brain. If you think it's more or requires more than a material brain, then the burden of proof is on you to demonstrate that. I'm not asserting that there isn't something more. My position is that until such time as you've demonstrated that there is something more, I don't have a good reason to believe there's something more. It doesn't matter whether we have an explanation for consciousness. It doesn't matter whether we know how chemicals in a brain result in consciousness at all. We could be completely ignorant about, we, we could not even know that there is a brain, but if your view is that the material can't do it on its own, you have to demonstrate that and show what more there is. Well, you know, it's, I, I think the, the conscience is obviously stumped many, many, many scientists and um, they haven't absolutely been able to prove how chemicals can actually develop intelligent thought. But you're not going after what he's saying. It's stumped them because they haven't figured out the mechanism. It hasn't stumped them because they think there's something supernatural at play here. Um, Well, you can label it as supernatural or you can label it as fact. Um, No, 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 no. That's not even close to a dichotomy. Yes, yes, it's true. You could label it supernatural or you could label it as fact. I wish that was a dichotomy. I wish it was the best. That would be the best dichotomy ever. There's facts and then there's bullshit. So here's the thing. Well, the fact the fact that scientists don't have a, a good understanding and an explanation for consciousness does not mean that it's reasonable to conclude there must be something more than the material. That's you have to demonstrate. How can you demonstrate that, Sharon? Well, it's not reasonable to believe that chemicals can think. Can but you think Sharon, it's Sharon, are you ever going to answer the question that you've actually been asked, or are you going to keep deflecting with bullshit? Well, I'm, first of all, I don't talk bullshit. You, you um, are. That doesn't describe. That doesn't describe um, an intelligent conversation. You're not having an intelligent conversation. I've asked. I've I've, I've pointed out where okay. the burden of proof rests. And you are basically saying that because scientists haven't been able to explain this, therefore, it's reasonable to conclude that there's something more than the material. And I'm explaining to you that that is not actually a reasonable conclusion. Well, there's no I don't think any of us can totally conclude because you can't put your hands on consciousness. You're not listening. You can touch. I am listening, but you you are. no, No. All right. You are not thinking. Because I didn't see whether or not you can touch consciousness is, is irrelevant. Whether or not you can completely or absolutely conclude anything is irrelevant. Neither of those things have anything to do with what I said. What, here's what I said, Sharon. Let me make this really easy. How can you demonstrate mm-hmm. that consciousness requires something more than the material? How can, you dem- how can anybody demonstrate that it doesn't? Goodbye, you dishonest <laughs> interlocutor. Uh, you, you refuse to answer the question. I pointed out before that nobody is claiming that it doesn't. Nobody's demonstrating that it doesn't. For you to, to, to come back and say, well, you can't prove it's material only is irrelevant. That is a shifting of the burden of proof. If you think it's more than material, then you have to demonstrate that. And what you've just done is admitted that you can't because instead you tried to shift the burden of proof again that I can, I started out saying that I can't, but what I am saying is you're professing certain things. If you're professing 
that God doesn't exist. If you're prof- That's not what I'm professing, <laughs> Sharon. If you would ever, I'm going to shut up and let Hemet take this, because if you would ever fucking listen, you would stop misunderstanding and misrepresenting everything in the reverse. Well, I don't think fucking is what we're doing here. Uh, that's not uh, even an intelligent word. All right, you pedantic, <laughs> obnoxious person. We're not fucking. You, just- you and I are definitely not fucking, Sharon. <laughs> Was that confusing for you? Right, and and God, God help us. But but do you understand that there's a colloquial use of the word "fucking" where it is an where it is used as an interjection? I'm aware of what people this how this people distort language. Absolutely. No, 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 not distort language. Language is our plaything. You see, I get to say "fuck" as much as I want, and I can tell you to fucking go away. Oh, you- I can't believe I just got invited to a non threesome. I know. Hey, Hemet and I aren't fucking. Me and the caller aren't fucking. Nobody's doing it. So it's, it's weird. So back to the issue. Maybe we just, I, I am going to take more calls. Um, but it's like, this is so frustrating. I, I literally just got done saying, please answer the question that I asked. And instead, what we get is another shifting the burden proof. I don't think atheists can prove that consciousness is merely material. Correct. We can't. So what? I, I, I don't know.